Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. Morning scripture came from Samuel, the book of Samuel. I'm going to read chapter one. All right. But Mrs. did um, suggest it yesterday. That's just a good little story to remember, you know. So, yeah, we're going to read Samuel chapter one. Samuel, first Samuel chapter one, sorry. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We come before you this morning to give you thanks for yet another day of life that you have preserved for us. Lord, these days are very trying. They are very trying, but we give you thanks nonetheless that you are yet with us still. To keep us from giving up. To keep us from giving in, giving in or giving over. Because sometimes we do feel like we just want to give up, but you are the one that keep us persevering. And you do that by your Holy Spirit who abides in us and comforts us and bring to remembrance all that you have taught us by your Holy Word. Because again, we have those examples of the faithful servants of old. We have the, the account of your earthly presence when you dwelt amongst us. In a bodily form as flesh and blood and we have also knowledge of the end of all things and those who abide with you until the end we know we are the ones that shall be saved so lord all we are asking you is just you just continue to keep us equipped to persevere Allow us to get through what we need to get through each and every day. Strengthen us, dear Lord. So when those things of this life come left, right, and center, trying to weigh us down, that you allow us to just shake it off and again stand firm on the sure rock that you are. So as you lead us, as you guide us, as you instruct us by your Holy Spirit and your Holy Word, all we ask is that we abide and know your good, acceptable, perfect, and holy will. So, Lord, as we are encouraged by your word each and every morning, we just pray again that we are actually reverencing it as the records and the word of God. And that, dear Lord, you continue to help us to persevere throughout all the tests and trials of life. That we do not become overcome, but that we overcome all things by our faith in you. That we don't think too much on those things that we are not in control of. But have faith and trust and hope in you. Not leaning on our own understanding, in all our ways, acknowledging you so you can direct our path. And in doing so, we know that you shall perfect us in your love, love for you and love for one another. And as always, we want to ask dear Lord that this love is what we use in the lives of the youth to show that light of Christ. So that when they themselves are of age, they shall never leave you nor forsake you. And that also, dear Lord, that you continue to help us to help each other and continue to promote, to sustain, to nurture and put your hedge of protection around marriages in pursuit of God in marriages so that in all things we as mankind may glorify your name. Even the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for the glory of God our Heavenly Father, we pray. Amen. All right, the first book of Samuel, 
Now, there was a certain man of Ramath, Ramatha Imzothim of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Zoph, the son of Ephratite. Sorry, an Ephratite. An Ephratite. And he, and he had two wives. The name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other, Penina. And Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. And this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto the Lord of hosts in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, the priests of the Lord, were there. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Penina, his wife, and to all her sons and her daughters portions. But unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Hannah. But the Lord had shut up her womb, <coughs> and her adversary also provoked her sore, for to make her fret, because the Lord had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah her husband to her, Hannah, why weepest thou, and why eatest thou not, and why is thy heart grieved? Am I not better to thee than ten, than ten sons? So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept sore. And she vowed a vow, and said, The Lord of hosts, if thou, sorry, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but wilt give unto thine handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long wilt thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belial. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the Lord God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And she said, Let thine handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman so the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord, and returned, and came to their house to Ramna, Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer unto the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow. But Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned. 
and then I will bring him that he may appear before the Lord and there abide forever. And Elkanah, her husband, said unto her, Do what seemeth thee good. Tarry until thou have weaned him. Only the Lord establish his word. So the woman abode and gave her son suck until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her, with three bullocks and one ephah of flour and a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the child was young. And they slew a bullock and brought the child to Eli. And she said, O my Lord, as thou, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by thee here praying unto thee, Lord. For this child I prayed, and thee, Lord, hath given me my petition which I asked of him. Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshipped the Lord there. Amen. Having read that, I might just read the book of Samuel. Yeah, let's read the book of Samuel together. Is that 30 chapters? Okay, this shall be the first morning. So, yeah, anything that you want to share, drop it in the comment section. And we're going to pick this one up um, as when we read books, where um, we'll um, do a overview of the chapters read throughout the week and on, on the weekend, right? And throughout the week, if any questions or anything that come up, we'll discuss it then. So I'll leave it at that this morning. Anything that you want to share as always, drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at e3t1.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day, everyone. If God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.